So today I'm going to talk about power, um, how to reclaim your power really. And, and for me, this is also about understanding what your power actually is, because I think power's got that real kind of souped up um, energy to it often, hasn't it, when we talk about power. But what if our real power was, was this feeling of calm? that um well I really do think it is I do think we act in a completely different way and a a better way when we are calm and therefore we can step into our power kind of from the inside out really and of course that's what I'm going to be talking about because I talk about everything from the inside out and that's everything the authentic woman approach is about it's about um finding all our resources really in the inside rather than in the outside. So calm and and power seem, don't they, to come from the outside world. They they did for me for a really long, probably for a good, well, more than four decades. It looked to me like if I wanted to be calm, I had to be doing certain things. So at some point, I think, when I was having some issues with my eating, I probably would have said, you know, I feel calm once I've had a bar of chocolate or eaten something or even eaten and uh, unfortunately not, not left that food inside my body. Um, and that seemed to bring about some kind of calm. I suspect sometimes I thought it came from wine <laughs> or other alcohol, probably less wine than other alcohol, actually. And, and then I think perhaps... As I stepped into the self-development world, it looked like that calm and therefore my power was coming from the, the, the practices that I was doing. The meditation, the tapping, the affirmations, the, the list goes on and on and on. It really, really does. And it's only fairly recently, really, probably in the last maybe five or six years, five years probably, that I've really started to see that 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 peace, that inner, you know, that it is an inner space of tranquility that's available. And that what I've noticed as well is that when I act from that place, I act in so much more in alignment with myself. I'm I'm much more of, of a, it's a funny phrase really, but I'm much more of my true self. I'm you know, the kinder person, I'm the gentler person, I'm the more loving person, I'm the more connected person, I'm less judgmental, all of those things when I am calm. And therefore, actually out in the world, I think there's a lot of power that comes from that. And, you know, it's it's also just seeing that reclaiming our power is about sitting more in that space of calm. Now, I don't want you to hear, I've got to make myself calm then, because that's not really what I'm pointing to. What I'm pointing to is an understanding, really, of how we don't feel calm. What is it that causes us not to feel calm? What is it that creates that experience of stress? Well, again, that looks like the outside world too, doesn't it? But it really isn't, and it doesn't take much poking around for us to start questioning that. And that's the invitation here. The invitation is to just start poking around and questioning it. And the first thing to do around that is just to start to look at how, you know, you can be in a situation at work or in your business or in your family life or at home, whatever, and you're feeling stressed perhaps and perhaps other people around you are not or vice versa you, you're kind of thinking what's what's everybody's problem with this it's not a problem to me and if it was the outside world if it was the circumstance that was causing the stress and of course everybody would feel exactly the same but it's not really that it's just it's really is 100% of the time our perspective on whatever it is that's happening that creates the stress it's it's the idea and and almost like the forgetting of who we really are the forgetting that we are this calm we are this peace we are this love and wisdom and 
it might seem right now that it's utterly impossible for you to stay in that power, in that space of calm, grounded is another way to put it, when life feels chaotic. But what if it wasn't? What if it was actually possible to be in that place of calm, even when it seems like there is chaos going on around you? And and that's one of the invitations through the Thriving Woman approach is that we move towards this space of being able to handle everything, e- even when we have a lot to handle. Now, that is not um, ignoring that there is some element of human capacity to consider. You know, we are not machines. Uh, even machines break down if you put them under too much pressure. Um, and we're not, this is not an invitation for you to become even more busy and even more about controlling things. It's not that at all. But it is an invitation to, yeah, begin to see your true capacity, your true power when you operate more from this place of calm. And that's something else that we really dive deep into in the Thriving Woman approach is seeing how there is this thread running through your life where you have been able to revert to calm. Now, one of the cool places to see this and explore this is when you have had a real life emergency, like often the emergencies that we're dealing with are in our heads, aren't they? They're all what's going to happen tomorrow and the future or perhaps some regrets over what we didn't do right yesterday, etc. or what somebody else didn't do right yesterday. But when we're really forced into the present moment, it's amazing how we we kind of drop into this place of groundedness. We drop into a place of calm and we just get done what needs to get done. A great example of that is, is, is if you've got an actual emergency. Um, so like I, I remember when I, my children were little and, you know, I'd be caught up in something or me and my, 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 my husband at the time would have been caught up in something, perhaps arguing about something or whatever. And then a child would appear with a, <clears throat> with an actual issue, something they really needed dealing with, like their knee is bleeding because they've fallen or they've hurt themselves or there's two children arguing or whatever. And how you f- you just forget about the argument, you forget about whatever you were caught up with and immediately you're, you're just in the present moment supporting that child with what they need, you know, in, 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 the, in the presence of it. My other experience of that was... Um, that I can remember was when I was chased by cows and I felt my my body move away from the cows, the field that the cows were in, over the wall into the field where thankfully they were just some very, very tame sheep. Uh, That all just seemed to happen very quickly without me really needing to do anything. And then um, it was only afterwards when my mind started to get busy that I started to feel, you know, feel the fear and feel the anxiety in my body. But really just in that moment, dealing with my body, moving it away from um, the danger was seamless, actually. It was pretty easy to do. So I hope you found that helpful. That's um, that's kind of what I wanted to share today. It, you can be calm in any situation. It's probably just something to contemplate as a possibility because I I just don't think we're told that we're told the outside world is making us feel things so my invitation is to just explore that and you know if you want to drop a comment on this video let me know how that exploration goes that'd be great and if you want to find out more about the thriving woman approach there'll be some information below this video somewhere um and my yeah my invitation is to explore and get curious because that's all I can ever do I can't tell you how to do this or what this is but I can invite you to get curious about what I'm saying. So take care. Thank you so much for um, listening and watching. Lots of love.